In this short video I'll show you how to do remote control of a robotics platform using free software, Arduino and your iPhone or iPad. In this demonstration system we have a uh, create robotics platform from iRobot. We have under here an Arduino microprocessor with a Wi-Fi card and mounted on top a wireless IP camera. Running in the iPad is the RCTX software for iPad which includes a TV screen or a web browser which shows the scene from the camera. You can control, control the iRobot create with these joysticks on the iPad and this screen shows you what the camera sees out the front of the iRobot. This is the Create Robotics platform from iRobot. It consists of a uh, microprocessor inside here, rechargeable batteries, drive wheels and various sensor bumpers. In the cargo bay here there's a uh, connector through which you can control the iRobot. There's a serial port here plus a number of other inputs and outputs. And you can use this space here to put your own payload. This is the Arduino microprocessor. It's running software freely available on the web uh, to talk to the uh, iRobot and also to talk to this, the Wi-Fi access card. This contains a complete Wi-Fi controller which talks through Wi-Fi to the iPad or the iPhone. The Arduino and Wi-Fi card are mounted inside the cargo bay and connected to the iRobot with this ribbon cable. This is a power supply to uh, provide regulated power for the camera, which we'll see shortly. The wireless IP camera mounts on top and is provided power from the regulated power supply we saw a moment ago. The wireless IP camera and the Arduino Wi-Fi card and the iPad or iPhone are all connected together over an ad hoc wireless network. You can get them to talk together uh, through a wireless access point if you wish, but in this case we're using an ad hoc network and we don't need an external access point. The RCTX application running in the iPad or the iPhone sends remote control over IP messages to the Arduino over the Wi-Fi connection. At the same time, the wireless camera is sending video back to the iPad to uh, just be displayed on this screen. The RCTX application is also available for the iPhone. But it doesn't have a video screen.